Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Belle, if you didn't already know. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about nail polish, specifically my favorite nail polishes, KL Polish. And I have here the Ethereal Garden Spring Collection from KL Polish that just came out this month or a few weeks ago something like that so I kind of wanted to do like a review on kale polishes in general and then swatch these guys for you today but I already told you that they're my favorite nail polishes so my review is obviously going to be positive um, if you guys don't already know kale polish is a nail polish brand by Kathleen lights who is a youtuber here so all kale polishes are vegan, cruelty-free, and seven-free, and the seven uh, potentially harmful ingredients that they are free of are formaldehyde, formaldehyde resin, camphor, dibutyl phthalate, toluene, tosylamide, and xylene. I hope I pronounced all those right. I probably did not, but I gave it a fair shot, okay? So that's pretty cool that they are free of seven harmful ingredients instead of the five that I usually see, as well as being vegan and cruelty free. That's very cool. I really like these polishes because they are extremely long wearing. Um, like I am wearing them right now. Right now I'm wearing uh, the color Dream Boy, I believe, is that? It's this one right here. I think this one's actually Kathleen's favorite out of the whole collection this season. I am also wearing Charmed as an accent nail right here, and it is this color right here. So I've had this color on, or these colors on for about a week now, and they are still going strong, as you can see. No chips whatsoever. And oftentimes I can go about like a week and a half to the full two weeks with no chips at all, which is amazing. As long as I'm not doing anything crazy, you know, like anything outdoorsy or specifically opening packages, that always ruins nails really quickly. But for the most part, if I'm not doing any heavy labor <laughs> or lots of washing dishes and things like that, they will last at least a week without chipping if not more. So, very impressive staying power. And another thing that I really like about these polishes is the brush on them. They, the brush is just perfect. I love flat brushes. So as you can see, the brush is this nice flat brush. And I love brushes like this. This is what I always look for in nail polishes. I hate those little tiny brushes that come in some nail polishes, like the ones that are super thin and you need like five strokes to get all across your nail. But this, these brushes are perfect because they, it's like two, two to three strokes and you've covered your whole nail. And since it kind of curves at the top too, it kind of just gets right into the corners of your cuticles or whatever that's called <laughs> and it just gets right up in there and it creates a perfect line and it's just the easiest brush that I've ever used and I really really like that. I know some people don't don't like the brush because it's kind of too wide for them I guess. I mean I kind of feel that way on maybe my pinky nail. Um, you just have to be a lot more careful <laughs> with these brushes because they do, like, with your pinky, it's almost the width of my pinky nail. Um, but I usually do two strokes, one edging on the side and then one edging on the other side, and then it still gives me pretty perfect application every time, just much better than the thin ones, the thin brushes do, so. I also really love the color selection that Kale Polishes come in. So Kathleen releases six colors each season and um, some limited edition colors thrown in throughout the year as well, but she usually groups them into six colors in a collection and there's always a theme, like this one is Ethereal Garden, as you can see all the colors are very like bright and pastel and kind of flower colors, <laughs> you know, like an ethereal garden, and I am so in love with this collection. I haven't actually bought any of her full collections before, but this one I just couldn't, I couldn't not. I mean, these colors are perfect, they're just, they're like everything I look for in nail polishes, and I'm especially attracted to this yellow shade. So pretty. 
and then this iridescent purpley shade so pretty I mean come on the formula for these polishes is also amazing um, they are super pigmented and super opaque once you a lot of the colors you can actually just get away with one layer I swear um, a lot of like the cream colors other ones such as like any other finishes like the glittery finishes or metallic finishes they might be a little less opaque but most of the cream colors are super opaque like one layer does it. They're also just smooth and I've never really had any application problems with kale polishes like other polishes tend to be either too wet or too dry or you know just the consistency isn't right for painting your nails properly but I've never really had problems like that with kale polish. Obviously some formulas, some colors are going to be a little bit thicker or thinner than the other ones um, which you will see in my swatches actually but it's never like to the point where, you know, it ruins your nail polish application. So for the most part, very consistent, beautiful colors and extremely long lasting formula, awesome brush. I have no complaints about this polish. I love it. Um, I'm probably gonna keep buying this line until she stops making them, which will probably never. So. I'm gonna be a kale polish collector forever. I already have a pretty impressive collection. If you're interested in seeing my collection of kale polishes, maybe I'll show you like after the next launch or something when I have even more. <laughs> I think without further ado, I'm just gonna show you guys the swatches. Alright guys, this is my first voiceover, so please bear with me if the quality is absolutely horrible. I will be working on it. So the first polish we have is Pinky, and this one is the only one that is not completely opaque. As you can see with one coat, it is pretty sheer, and then with a second coat, it is still pretty sheer, but a super pretty nude type color, nude peachy color, perfect for every day. I really like this one. The next color we have is Miss Kensington, and this is like a minty blue type of color. It is definitely a cream finish, um, so super pigmented, but you can see with one coat it is not quite enough. Definitely need that second coat to make things a lot more opaque. So just a super pretty mint green. Next we have Charmed, and this one is like a holographic, iridescent, purplish blue shift, um, almost like that unicorn color. And this one also is not quite as opaque as the others. You can see with one layer it's very sheer, and then with two layers it's also quite sheer. I would recommend wearing three layers if you want something a lot more opaque, um, or layering it over top a white nail polish would be perfect. Next we have Celine, and this one is probably my favorite out of the whole bunch. It is this beautiful golden yellow with um, silver sparkles in it, actually. The silver sparkles are pretty hard to see, but when you look closely, you can definitely see them. And this one is opaque with two coats. How pretty is that? I love this one. Next we have Gum Would Be Perfection, and this one is like that true pastel bubblegum pink and super cute, but this one I found was probably the thickest out of all the cream ones. Um, with two coats, it was actually a little bit hard to work with, but I made it work and it still turned out beautiful, so still love this color. And lastly, we have Dream Boy. This one is like almost like a periwinkle purple, um, kind of a very light purple, but with a lot of blue in it. And out of all the cream colors, I would say this one had the thinnest consistency, um, which made it pretty easy to work with actually, but it was still opaque in two coats. And there you have it, everybody. That is the KL Polish Ethereal Garden Collection. 
I love, love, love all of these polishes. They are so pretty. All right, guys, that was it for this little, little review and swatch session. Um, I hope you guys liked this video. Let me know if you want me to make more videos about like nail polish <laughs> or if you want to see my kale polish collection, whatever. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until next time, I will see you later. Bye! They just all fell out.